here at Summit Fund 2021, and we're here with Mark. Hi, I'm Pat uh, from Garmin Aviation Sales. Pat is with Garmin, and he wants to talk with us about the one of their newest items in the lineup, which is the GI-275. Pat, what can you tell me about this device? Yeah, so right here is the GI-275. Uh, we actually announced it back in January of 2020, uh, and we're really excited to bring it out. And then, of course, uh, we didn't have any opportunities at the trade shows last year. So this is really the first time and the first major trade show that it's been on display for customers. Uh, the GI-275 is a multifunction instrument, and so it can be used as primary or backup attitude indicator, as an HSI, as a CDI, a multifunction display, or an engine indication system, um, all on the same piece of hardware. So very versatile and a really very exciting product. And how does this distinguish between this and the G5? Um, some of the difference between the GI-275 and the G5, one is the just, just the general shape. So the GI-275 you can see is round and it mounts uh, from the rear of the panel. The G5 has a square face and it mounts from the front um, and it sits uh, proud of the panel, whereas this sits flush. Um, some of the other differences though, the GI-275 is really designed to interface with a uh, very, uh, a, a lot of non-Garmin products. So a lot of third-party radios, autopilots, um, navigation sources are all gonna have that extra interface in the GI-275. Whereas the G5 uh, really uh, plays best with mostly Garmin products. It'll work with some third-party autopilots, but even that requires an extra piece of hardware, whereas the GI-275 has that all built in. And then lastly, on the GI-275, when it's set up as an attitude indicator, you can see uh, we've got the option for synthetic vision, uh, which is one option that the uh, G5 does not have. Also, when the GI-275 is configured as an HSI, you can overlay that HSI on a moving map, uh, which is really helpful for situational awareness, uh, whereas the G5 just has a traditional HSI. And the list of certified aircraft that is uh, for this particular device, is it the same as the G5? Um, it's actually more than the G5. There's about a thousand aircraft that the GI-275 is certified for. Um, that is another distinction between the two of them. You can use the GI-275 in Part 23 aircraft, uh, Part 25 aircraft, uh, even uh, helicopters in some applications, whereas the G5 has a limited scope. Uh, to really the smaller general avi aviation aircraft. And where did you come to the show from today? Where are you from? Uh, well, most of us are here from Olathe, Kansas, where the Garmin headquarters is located. Uh, in, from, uh, in from Kansas, we had a few other people from our Salem, Oregon office as well. And how have you found the show to be so far? So far, it's been great. Uh, really, lots of customers have come in. They want to see the GI-275. They want to understand the differences. They have questions about our autopilots. Uh, which we're coming out with more and more models every day. Um, and so we've been busy, and it's been great to be back out face-to-face uh, -face with customers, giving demos, seeing and hearing airplanes fly. It's all been very good. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Of course. Thank you.